Hello and welcome to Invision News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. As many as 20 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Thursday. With this, the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,724. On the other hand, 1,012 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from the concerned medical authorities. With this, the total number of recovery patients in the district is now 72,614, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district has now improved to 85.60%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 84,827 with 746 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths, concerned medical officials revealed that of the total casualties, 475 and 1971 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 278 persons are from the outside Nagpur district. Sadar police have booked senior BJP leader Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule, MLC Girish Vyas, Rajya Sabha member Dr. Vikas Mahatma and others on the charges of assembling in a large number without permission and burning copies of a circular issued by MVA government on farm laws passed recently in parliament. It was be recalled that the BJP leaders recently condemned Maharashtra government for staying implementation of the farm laws passed recently in parliament. Also, they burned copies of the cooperative and marketing department circulars. The leaders and other workers assembled in a large number despite COVID-19 restrictions. Other persons booked including Arvind Gajbi, Ananda Raut, Ramesh Mankar, Kishore Revatkar, Avinash Khalatkar, Imeshwar Yavalkar, Ajay Bandre, Sandeep Sarode, Sandhya Gautamare, Vishal Bosle, Ambadas Uike, Deep Chand Shende, Pramod Hatti and other who participated in the demonstration during which the state circular was burned in the front of collectorates. Members of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation's Nuisance Detection Squad on Thursday took action against 237 citizens for not wearing masks and a total fine of rupees 1,18,500 has been recovered from them. In the last few days, the NDS team have taken action against 10,784 citizens and recovered from the total fine of rupees 37,51,000 from them. Zone-wise, 42 persons under Lakshminagar zone, 45 under Dharampet zone, 29 under Hanumanagar zone, 14 under zones, 18 under Satranjipura zone, 12 under Lakhraganj zone, 23 under Ashinagar zone, 20 under Mangalwari zone and 6 within NMC headquarters have been fined by the NMC team. These actions have been taken under the leadership of Veer Sen Tambe. 5,314 citizens have been fined since the penalty amount was raised to 500 rupees. Sakadara police have arrested four members of a gang involved in stealing petrol from park vehicles. The gang committed the crime under Umbred, Rante, Kalmeshwar and Butipuri police station. Acting on a tip of a patrolling team of Sakadara police detained the gang members who were found roaming suspiciously. Upon questioning, the accused tried to mislead the cops but were arrested. The accused are Kemchan Alias, Monu Tulsinam Jadav, Bihari Lal, Tawarji, Malviya, Golu Suresh Jadav at Mahesh Kisulal Jadav, all native of Sajpur district in Madhya Pradesh. The accused confessed of stealing diesel and petrol from the park, trucks and other vehicles at night. The gang was also involved in various other crimes registered in MPDCP Zone 4 Vivek, Misal, ACP Vijay Marathe, Senior P.I. Satyavan Mane and others took efforts for the success of the operation. As a part of the Fit India Movement, official Central Railway Nagpur Division have undertaken a pledge of observing every Wednesday as no vehicle day. The pledge was taken by the officials in the presence of manager Somesh Kumar. So, as part of the Fit India Movement, official Central Railway's Nagpur Division have undertaken a pledge of observing every Wednesday as a no vehicle day. The pledge was taken by the officials in the presence of manager Somesh Kumar. Central Railway's Nagpur Division official as part of this initiative cycle their way from home to office recently on Wednesday morning. The initiative will not only result in superior fitness level among employees but it also be instrumental in saving fuel and cost and reduce air pollution, officials said. In this campaign, around 42 to 50 employees of Central Railways comprising both senior officers and lower running staff have taken part. Officials are of the opinion that this initiative will be instrumental in raising the fitness level and immunity which is vitally essential during the present trying times of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very, very good care of yourself.